President Trump is continuing to pressure General Motors to reopen its plant in Ohio through a series of tweets that spanned the weekend and Monday as well. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Noah Aram. Aram, quite the Twitter tirade, even by President Trump's standards. That's right, Mark. Trump's tweet, uh, tweets rather come ahead of his trip to politically important Ohio this week. Analysts say a re-election campaign in the Rust Belt could be tough, as he has failed to deliver on his promise of bringing back jobs there. He made that promise two years ago at a rally in a town near the shuttered Lordstown plant. GM closed plants in several locations last year as part of a major restructuring plan, which includes a shift towards electronic vehicles. It also said it would cut 8,000 jobs, which will represent a 15% reduction in its workforce. About 1,500 jobs have already been lost in Lordstown. Now, this has angered Trump, who said GM should close a factory in China or Mexico in order to reopen the Ohio plant. He also expressed discontent over the pace of talks between GM and the United Automobile Workers Union, which are scheduled to start later this year. Trump said those negotiations should happen right now, so the plant could either be opened or sold quickly. He had even blamed the union leader for not doing enough to save the Lordstown factory. Now, GM had responded to some of Trump's tweets, saying the ultimate future of the unallocated plants will be resolved between GM and the UAW. The automaker also said it is working to offer affected workers jobs in other plants, adding it has already relocated 1,000 employees.